There are several burning restrictions across the state and with the holiday coming up, many officials say they're concerned. So we've got the rain, we've got a little bit of uh, humidity in the air now, but I would say that's a short term thing to look at. Casey McCoy is a fire prevention supervisor with the Department of Natural Resources. You drive down the streets of just about any town right now, and the lawns are looking pretty peaked. They're looking a little bit stressed right now and dry. McCoy says seven counties and a part of one county within the state currently have burn restrictions. This map highlights those areas. No open burning is allowed over a good portion of cabin country seen here in orange. However, campfires are still allowed only in an established fire ring associated with a home, campground or resort. McCoy says there is an increased concern leading into the July 4th holiday. Traditionally, we don't have very many fireworks cause wildfires, but traditionally we are also pretty wet and pretty lush and pretty green. Minnesota's wildland fire management agencies report more than 1300 wildland fires have burned roughly 34,000 acres since the beginning of March this year, with many areas in northern Minnesota remaining abnormally dry or in moderate drought. A lake of the woods over towards International Falls and about that width that goes south to about Bemidji is uh, the driest, the longest term. It also looks like it was more or less missed by the rain we got over weekends. Meanwhile, McCoy is urging the public to help prevent fires by following these restrictions. I, I love celebrating the 4th of July and I love fireworks, but I would just ask people that if you're out there enjoying that, just be prepared for it. Officials say those burning restrictions can change from day to day. We've included information on our website about how you can stay informed daily. Reporting in Minneapolis, Charmaine Nero, CARE 11 News.